Mike Freeman, if you do not uphold the law, you will be out in 2018. crowd today. I know. You think the police chief has helped? I think so. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Hopefully she learns from her major faux pas. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen, Freeman? Any inside information? <laughs> I unfortunately don't have any inside information. All I have is Freeman's record, which so far has been to not hold officers accountable when they engage in misconduct, which really bothers me. The, uh, there was some conversation about these two guys having a pr prior record in another city. You, right. Do you know anything about that? Well, from my understanding, um, they have been engaged in some type of misconduct. Um, Both of them? I believe so. I would have to verify that, but that's what I've been told. Where and I read it? a couple of articles. I, I think one was out of state, and one may have been in another jurisdiction in Minnesota. And so, and there are lots of officers on the force who have engaged in misconduct and have used excessive force in other jurisdictions who, for some reason, still get hired by the Minneapolis Police Department. Do you know what proportion of the police live in the city of Minneapolis? Um, definitely less than 10%. Um, NPR ran a story about the fact that over 90% of officers do, who patrol the Twin Cities do not live in the Twin Cities. So that's a major issue. And that is the result of Stanix Law, which um, no longer requires officers to live in the jurisdiction. And thanks to the uptake for all of your great coverage. So today, here's what I want to do. I want to call up Jamar Clark's adoptive father to come stand next to me. Mr. James Clark. I want to call up Jamar Clark's Thank you for being here.